I just got this stunning round display. It's SPI 1.28 inch 240 by 240 pixels LCD. And since I never used one before, I thought it will be interesting to show you guys what I do when I get new hardware. It's one of those things I've helped many people over the years when they had issues. So let's hook this up and see how it works. This purchase was completely spontaneous. I saw that, I ordered it, I didn't even look into the details. So I have no clue how it works. This is the product page on eBay. And let's see if we can get information from it. First of all, you can see the driver IC, which will help us in the search. And also it's 3.3 and 5 volt tolerance, which is great since we can use an UNO. There are wiring diagrams for Raspberry Pi and for an UNO as well. It's a 4-wire SPI bus with backlight, command data pin and reset as well. And I wondered if anyone wrote a library for this, so we'll copy the driver IC name. As always, Google is our best friend. Pasting the IC name and adding an Arduino library got me to this. Looking for the IC name in the readme show that it's supported. You can choose to install it from the IDE or just download the zip, whatever works for you. And let's check one of the examples. After installing the library, I opened the clock example. What's important for us now, it's this line. As I mentioned before, it's a four wire SPI. It has data and command pin, reset, chip select, and the last one is BL, which is backlight. That can be governed by a PWM as well. So let's connect the board, upload the code and see how it works. I prefer to have the wiring pin out written down. But if I would have written it down, you wouldn't be able to read it. So I printed it out. First, I want to connect the power. It is important with new hardware to know if it needs to be supplied with 3.3 or 5 volt. We did establish that the data line can tolerance 5 volt, but according to the wiring diagram on eBay post, the VCC is connected to 3.3. So let's hook it up. VCC goes to 3.3 volt. Ground goes to ground, and now let's connect the rest. D in goes to pin 11, clock goes to pin 13, CS goes to pin 9, DAC goes to pin 8, reset goes to pin 7, and backlight goes to pin 6. Now I couldn't ask for a better result. I've uploaded the code and nothing happened. I even tried the yellow world example and still nothing. Then it hit me, of course. I never set the code to the right LCD settings. Scrolling to this line, you can see the comment that shows us the link to the screen type settings. So I open the link and search for the driver and here it is. So let's copy this setup. You can click the copy to clipboard, place it in the code instead of the original settings, comment the previous code and let's try it out. This project is a gift that keeps on giving and again it did not work which actually surprised me. So back to Google it is and this time I decided to look for Arduino Uno and GC9A01. Noticing this image and following the link got me to this site. And under the resources tab, I downloaded a demo code. Out of the downloaded zip file, I've extracted the Arduino LCD 1 inch 28 folder, moved it into my sketchbook. Now I upload the code and still it did not work. And then I noticed the pinout under the defines and matched them with the wiring already done. And it finally works and works great. I'm really interested to figure out why the other library did not work and I'm going to look into it. But at least we now know that the screen is working. The color is an amazing and I'm really pleased with this purchase. I mentioned before that it was a spontaneous purchase. This is what it was for. I got in this beauty still functioning well. It's a bit of a cleaning. 
when I first saw the Facebook post, in the angle the photo was taken, it seems that the hole was a perfect circle. And of course, it's not. The screen was meant to fit in it, still thinking of a clever way to make it fit. Still not sure what I want to do with it. I done a mobile conversion and you can see the link on the screen and in the description. So I want to make something else. Ideas will be welcome. And now let's go back to take care of that library. I went back to the code and I did notice again that it only mentioned the Nano and Mini as supported boards and not the Uno. I was guessing before that it will work on the Uno since it's the same MCU, the 328P. And with the factory example, it did work on the Uno. So it's not. I changed into a Nano, kept the same wiring as you can see. It's working nice. And again, I really love the colors. Well, I hope you find this video useful. If you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, leave a comment, give a thumbs up, and uh, see you next time.